Battle two time. Battle two in round two. <clears throat> and here we will see two more fighters that lost their first round matches. Let's see which of the two will be able to win and get back into the game and to hopefully reach the top four cut. Pragin, Junior Gonzalez, Transmission. And his opponent? Pragin, Sanic, Transmission. Junior Gonzalez lost 1 0 to Mario's mom, Peach. Where Sanic lost 1 0 to Flexor Boy the Donkey Kong. They're tied right now, but one will take the lead against the other and go up in the standings. Lula Bay, we're gonna find out on Wiley's Castle. Ah, oh, that theme was just so well remixed. And amazing how it was used in the Mega Man trailer to the announcement trailer. I was so freaking darn excited. Meanwhile, a lot of shields going on, not much damage in. The damage that Junior Gonzalez does have, auto heal. Remember, every 3 seconds, 2% off. It's not much, but it's something. Yeah! The Junior Gonzalez, you may want to actually start damaging him. There's no time limit on these matches, because I thought, you know, he's not going to do that. Because it'll end. There's been two fights so far at the last seven that we've had. Uh, the gamepad and the TV screen went a bit darker, and I believe that's due to a certain, like, after a certain amount of time, it's power save. I do want to keep it bright, just so you can see better. But, I think, I think she had three, so that's up to, like, five minutes. That sounds like a logical thing. Ooh, Sonic has a first final smash. Doesn't even have that much damage, only 35. But can he hit Yoshi off for the KO? Yep. Sonic. KOs Junior Gonzalez in himself is only a 35%. That final smash really did some. There's a gravitational charge something roll attack thing. Come on, Sonic. As you can see, um, final smashes can mean a lot. You know it already. And the CDs definitely know how to aim it. Um, it can definitely mean the difference between victory and loss. But, I, but then again, the final smashes don't appear too often, so I don't feel it's too broken with, let's say, one character get multiple times. Like, Diddy got it two times last time, but he just messed up with his upbeat. Or he just... his upbeat is generally very good. I would say he messed up mostly, though. I can say it now. And, and this is me neutral commentating on things. Damage. Sonic will need 70%. Junior Zelda is a 39. We may just see multiple Smash Balls in this game and the Smash Balls being a thing. Yoshi's not using Final Smash this tournament yet. Yo actually, the Smash Ball earlier, which uh, Sonic used to KO Junior Gonzalez, was the first Smash Ball Yoshi has, uh, Junior Gonzalez has seen in this tournament. Because if you recall, the match between Junior Gonzalez and Mario's mom in round one did not see a single Smash Ball. So this is the first one that Junior Gonzalez saw, and unfortunately it was Sanic who actually uh, was able to make use of it. And Junior Gonzalez, who already has more damage than Sanic, Junior Gonzalez had a skill active for a little while. Worn off now. They're really jumping and shielding and dodging. They're good at that, but you'll eventually have to also deal damage. Come on, Sonic, one good smash attack. Then again, if you do a basic charge of crash attack, then. Yoshi will not allow it, because he'll just shield or dodge or whatever. He has his, besides his regular shield, he also has an egg, which can block attacks, but also deal major damage. It's slow, but it's de very defensive and very offensive as well, because it can launch them very far. Sonic trying for an upkick there, doesn't work, he comes with a, with a smash attack, yes. Junior Gonzalez down, it's 5-3. Just imagine if Sonic would have had auto heal in this fight. He still hasn't lost his his life, his stock, 
his first one, and he's been in this fight for very long. So, Sonic would be below 100%, I'd say, by this point. This is very good for him. The longer, the, but now it's for Yoshi. It's really the longer the match takes, the better, I suppose, because he heals. But oh, he messed up his shield. He's dizzy. Where's that the side effect of Sonic's attack? But pretty sure that's a shield that ran out. I've not seen that with CPUs yet. It was standing at 142. There's a smash ball. Yoshi really needs this. He gets it. Here comes Super Mega Yoshi. I don't actually know what it's called. I don't even know the origins of this thing. I could look it up, but I should just really just do All Star with Yoshi, get the, the trophy and find out. I do like really like the trivia that they put with every single trophy. Loads of trophies. Like I like the collectibles. And it gives some good background information too, especially for games that you do like now. Unfortunately, there's a few spoilers here and there too. Like in, for very, it's very few trophies that have spoilers for games that you haven't played yet. But yeah. I would prefer if it wasn't, but maybe if like there's no spoilers, it will be a very vague. Um, what's it? A, a very vague description, and that wouldn't be funny either. So that's probably why they decided. Yeah, the screen's already going dark, and there's only four or three. Maybe we're gonna see it go dark for the second time. This match is taking a while. And Sonic with another attack, almost a KO, Yoshi's skill activated, Sonic almost hits that attack, and barely misses, Yoshi blocks the kick. Yoshi keeps jumping over, but he needs to do the hitting himself. Come on Yoshi, nice hit, but Sonic's by far not damaged enough to KO. And jump and dodge, and jump and roll, and jump and dodge. Jump, dodge, and roll. Ooh, nice hit from Sonic, and it's 4 2. Sonic is at damage, where Yoshi could kill when he gets my stack. Will it work though? Well, there's a smash where Yoshi wants this. Sonic gets it, now Yoshi, the Junior Gonzalez was at 0%, so I don't think there will be a KO. But the advantage of there not being very much damage is that Sonic can really just juggle with him because he'll not fly far from the knockback. There won't be much launch, so Sonic was able to hit him much more and actually juggle him into the air and then get the KO. Very nicely executed that attack from Sonic. Now Sonic is 4-1 in the lead. Three no victories thus we've seen so far, those Ash Shrad against Stud Muffin. Both uh, who still have to fight in round two. Will Sonic be able to make it a 4 nil victory? And make it the best, uh, the highest score victory we've seen so far? It could very well happen, he needs to not be hit by Yoshi there. It does happen, it is 3-1, but still a 3 nil victory will be very awesome for Sonic. He'll not only be back in the game with one win and one loss, but his tiebreaker chance will definitely increase as well. Sonic so far been doing much better, but remember how what happened in Diddy and Mario? Mario uh, Diddy was in a similar situation as Sonic is now, and then suddenly Mario is doing better. Now it's Junior Gonzalez this time. Oh, but he's more damage. And the grab, and the punch, and the hit, and the kick. It's nearly over. One more hit, and this could just be done. Sonic has finished it off a couple of times already with his up smash. Can he just pull it off once more? Yoshi has a skill active. Sonic is stalling a bit, dodging, trying to roll. No, that does look like a... Was that a side effect of the attack? Because Sonic went dizzy. Anyway, one good up smash from Sonic, and this could be it. Yoshi, meanwhile, is just recovering with his auto heal. Oh, good hit from Sonic. Crack up some damage. There's a final... Uh, there's a smash ball. Who gets it? Sonic, Yoshi, Sonic, Yoshi, Sonic. One more hit. It's Sonic. This is the finisher. And it's game. Sonic beats Junior Gonzalez 3-0. Hey, he even found a Chaos Emerald. Maybe Junior Gonzalez swallowed it at some point. 3-0 victory for Sonic. This will do his tiebreakers very well. Very good. Will do his. It will do good, yeah.
Right, victory for Sanic. I'll see you guys in Battle 3.